Defend yourself against DDoS attacks by hiding your true IP address with ExpressVPN. And visit my custom link expressvpn.com slash gillymaster in the description to find out how you can get an extra three months free. Hey everyone and welcome to another GT Online in-depth guide here on the channel. Today we are going over the brand new Canis Terminus off-roader that released just a few days ago. This will cost you just under $2 million at $1,877,500, which is quite expensive for an off-road vehicle, when the Draugr is on sale right now actually for less than half that price, and even its regular price isn't as much as this is. And the Camacho is even less than both those, costing just a little over 300k, which these days is on Honestly, pennies. However, those two vehicles that I mentioned do not have the same utility that the Terminus gives you because this vehicle is both a Monitech and armor plating capable, and if you wanted to, you could put on slick mines to mess up anyone that tries to chase you down, but that would of course disable passive mode usage on the vehicle. In terms of its armor, it's going to be the same deal that the other non-electric and Monitech armor plating vehicles give you. With armor plating, as long as you have a player in the vehicle, it's going to take 4 RPGs, 12 homing rockets, 9 railgun shots, or 10 explosive rounds. And without anyone in the vehicle, that's going to be half those amounts. And if you don't have any armor plating on the vehicle, but have the armor upgrade itself maxed out, you'll still get some explosive resistance, but not a whole lot. The Terminus, unfortunately, does not have any bullet-resistant windows like some of the older MITech vehicles have. And because the windows are quite big on this vehicle, that's kind of unfortunate. And speaking of windows, I do have to talk about a bug with the Terminus's windows. If you equip the painted roof option, the back windows completely disappear. And even if you equip the canted options, the window in the back does not have any collision. It's like it's not even there. You can shoot right through it. The glass doesn't break. It just acts as if there's nothing there to begin with. However, if you buy a Terminus from someone at the car meet that has the painted roof option, yours will come delivered with a back window. So it's very strange the way they messed it up here. Now in terms of performance, I want to put it up against two other 4-door Amiantech vehicles, and ones that are also similar in price, those being the Aleutian and the Jubilee. And its performance is very, very good. If we're talking about a price to performance ratio here, the Illusion also costs $1.8 million, just slightly less expensive than the Terminus, however. It's missing a headlight and is slow as hell compared to the Terminus, so I would say you're way better off going with the Terminus there. The Jubilee, on the other hand, is less expensive, especially when you have the trade price. It's about 600k less expensive. However, it is still slow in comparison. The only thing the Jubilee has going for it over the Terminus is the fact that it has bull resistant windows, and then of course the price, obviously. The Terminus just has really good grip and very very good acceleration. There are sports cars that have worse acceleration than the Terminus does. It just shoots off the line. And that helps out a lot when it's also off-roading. I don't know if this is the best vehicle in the game for off-roading, but I do know it is a damn good one. Just look how it shoots up this incline and just lands on the roof. It doesn't lose any of its grip when it's off-roading. It's just a beauty to drive on and off-road. If all you want is a good off-road vehicle, you probably would want to go with one of the cheaper ones like the Jogger or the Camacho because this is a very expensive vehicle. However, this one is a great off-road vehicle and a vehicle that is very capable for free mode survival because of the fact that you can put armor plating and a mind tech on it. Not to mention, it just has some great customization and overall just looks amazing. So do I recommend the Canis Terminus? I do, very much so. I think it's a great Amitech vehicle. It looks great, performs great. The icing on the cake would be if it had bull resistant windows. If that was the case, this would be a very, very good purchase. And they also do have to fix that back window problem. But even with that, I still think it's worth a purchase. But let me know your thoughts on the Terminus down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GT Online content. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my channel members for your support, as well as to my friend Scarnelius for helping me record and test for this video. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.